a little too pumped up to go. So for now, just stand back, and then afterwards we'll be able to get lots of <laughs> Oh, they're so beautiful. Anyway, we still have our dog sledding tour. This is our sled. This is our team. Okay. Now I'm going to let you guys make a call here. Either Ansley is going to sit in one of your laps. Okay. Or I can hook up another sled behind this one. We call it like a whip. We'll pull it like 10 feet behind. Yeah. And somebody can drive on that. What would you okay. prefer, Ansley? She's not much of a lap sitter. Okay. Yeah. This one, the big one. The little one's fine doing that. Oh, yeah. The, the big one doesn't have to. Just, okay. Just the, Avery. Oh, Avery. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. No, that's Avery. okay. Ansley and Avery. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm terrible with names. It's okay. It's okay. No, Avery's good time. with a lap. One more. Michelle. Mike and Michelle. Mike, Michelle, Ansley, Avery. Right, Greg. Greg. Right. If I hear it two or three more times, I'll probably remember. Okay. <laughs> I, know I am you the may same not way. Get them yet. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? So. Okay. So where do you want? We have two people sitting here. Okay. I'm going to be right here driving, and one person is going to be here on the back helping me drive and brake. Okay. No, you sure. want to sit? It's your birthday. <laughs> All right, so is the one on the left over here, or does the one on the left need to be in front? Uh, however you're most comfortable with it. It doesn't matter for me, so it should be better. Okay. His face is chubby, is that what you mean? Yeah. Well, they're, they have a lot of fur. They're very fluffy. They have to pull enormous loads, but at no great speed. I have one Siberian husky, the one right before the orange dog. Uh -huh. You know, Russia's answer to the freight hauler. They're a little smaller, but they're still meant to pull the weight and not for anything particularly fast. Okay. When competitive sled dog racing came about, they took traditional lines like Alaskans and Siberians and crossed against them dogs like hound dogs, pointers, in order to create a finer body dog that would run faster but couldn't handle the same load. Okay. And so if you were to go to a competitive racing event today, all you'd see are they're, they're basically racing mutts. And so the orange dog up there, uh -huh. the skinny one here that's making a bunch of noise, yeah. the black dog right here around the corner, and the other dog who went around and lead with him are all racing lines. And so they can't handle the load, but they love to go. And so Twyla, in addition to running this operation, is one of the world's better known Malinier breeders. So because of that, we have litter mates, we have parents, we have rescues. And so there will occasionally be a fight. It doesn't happen that often, but it's not entirely rare either. If it happens, there's nothing to be concerned about. I've dealt with hundreds of them. I will break it up. We'll be on our way like it didn't happen. So if you see a fight, it's nothing to be excited about. Just part of the experience. <laughs> We don't really allow them to to be alpha. Gotcha. You know, we have to be the alpha because we expect them to run with any dog we ask them to. Now, with 60 dogs, sometimes that takes quite a bit of, of work, so we still have you know, issues here and there. 
Um, they'd love to work out that ladder themselves, but it, we try to leave it more up to the humans to decide the pecking order. And so I'm just about ready to hook up here. Um, I'll ask you all to stand right back here for now. Okay. That way if my safety lines break, you don't get hit with anything or go for a ride by yourself. Okay. So I'm going to get hooked up and I'll be with you folks in just a few minutes. It's going to get really loud and crazy. As soon as we're out there, it's going to be silent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is your phone in? Inside. The skinny man in the black hat is holding a baby. Somebody's holding a baby out here? something else. <laughs> Can I, am I able to steer this thing by leaning weight to keep it from stay, getting off the trail or no? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. We lost someone up there. Oh, we did. Oh, no.
I know. Okay. On. Well, thank you. Really? You couldn't control them. <laughs> Ready? Oh. I did. Okay, I'm ready. I'll get, I'll get straight ends. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we ready? Ready.
Ready. At 40 below? Wow. Ansley, you see him eating snow? Did you see him eating the snow? Yeah. We're warm, by the way. We're good. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, yellow snow, Ansley. <laughs> Are they struggling a little bit? Oh. Oh, so they don't know. Okay. 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 A little louder. Break, Ansley.
Ready? Come on, come on. <laughs> Started tilting on me. We well, saw him.
why she's acting like a fool. <laughs> What's her age? What's her? How long? How long do they live? Average. Twelve to fifteen. Yeah. Thick fur, don't you? Look at that thick fur. Yeah, it's like a coat. Are you the playful one? Are you the playful one who likes to cuddle? Yeah, you like to cuddle, don't you? Yes, she loves This one's pretty sweet. You like to cuddle, cuddle. Dad, this one's really sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you like to cuddle. You like to cuddle. This one's real sweet. Really? Excited? Yeah. Oh, really? You 12? Yeah. There are a couple others up there, old friends of mine that are 14 now. Good girl. And, uh, one day this week before I leave, if I have a nice light tour day, I'm going to bring them down. Yeah? Do they react when they see you after? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 
to get a lint roller. You gotta see your hat, Shell. What? You gotta see your hat. You have a puppy in your tree? That's a cute puppy. Those big old paws on that puppy. Yeah, they, so kept, they kept wanting to go in the know. Oh, he's adorable. He's adorable. The puppy's adorable.